Hey, it's time to get started on our cityscape. And a cityscape, uh, the required elements are going to be you have to have a background sky, and you have to have one continuous piece shape that represents the city buildings. So you have to have two required elements. You can add more later if you want to, but these are the must do's. You got to have a sky and you have to have one continuous shape that goes from side to side that goes all the way to the bottom and it contains the outlines of several buildings. So let me show you how to do this. We're going to use Google Drawing and we're going to start by using this line tool, but we got to click on it and we got to select polyline. So I usually start at the left and our lines are going to be horizontal, side to side, vertical, and some of them can be on an angle. So the trick to making these lines perfectly horizontal or perfectly vertical is holding the shift key. If you hold the shift key before you click, you can make a completely exactly horizontal line and an exactly vertical line. So it's just over, up, over, down, over, up, over, down. And we might have done this with paper before. You can make these as complicated as you want to. And you can also make an angle. And then once you click the angle, you can do the same thing on the other side. There's no grid here, so it's kind of tough to um, match the sides, but they don't have to match. It's just got to be one piece. So to make one piece all the way across, you have to actually just keep clicking, not touching the line. So if your if your clicks don't touch the line, you know, don't close the shape. In other words. I guess that looks like a huge water tower or a lollipop building. And I'm going to make a few more steps over here. And then just a few more clicks. And then we've got to surround the outside. Once you make it over to the right, you actually have to go right to the outside perimeter, outside line, click down in the corner, bring it all the way across, and then close your shape, and then it will fill in. So if it doesn't fill in, you haven't closed the shape, and you have to start all over again. So the color that it fills with is default, this grayish blue, and I chose a gradient, so I'm going to click over here on gradient, I chose this dark blue. It's already lighter at the top than it is at the bottom. That's perfect for me. So now I have to put my sky in. So to do that, it's a simple shape. It's just a square, well, a rectangle, but you choose the square and you can draw a rectangle. And you have to bring it down past the bottoms of those buildings. And now I've covered everything completely up. 